Hi everybody, it's Erin Reed with Crafters Workshop and we've got some amazing new stencils you gotta come check out. So we're gonna kinda do a span around the booth and show you all the yummy goodness that's here. So come on. All right, so over here we have some amazing new stencils with uh, Balazar Designs. One of the cool things about all the Crafters Workshop stencils is you can get them as a six by six, but you can also get them as a 12 by 12. So it's the exact same design, but in both sizes, which is phenomenal. And just look at how amazing these designs are. I mean, you can see where they can go. So look, here's a 12 by 12, and here's a six by six. It is so cool. I absolutely love that. You can use these stencils with so many things, not only for your mixed media. Let me just keep spanning through. You can do so much with mixed media, but you even, you know, using your pen with them, you can use them on your gel plates. You can use them as etching onto glass. It is so cool. There's so many things. Over here we have Rebecca Myers stencils, and again, the 12 by 12 and the six by six. So cool. And I love that there's some larger images that you can do too. So you can do some really nice masking with it. So you can even layer stencils on top. You could take the large bird, but then you could take this fun stencil with the, all the texture, lay it over the bird and do a double layer of stencil. I mean, that, those are just so cool. You can get that double layer of etching going on. I mean, just look at that butterfly. Isn't that awesome? So cool. I love it, I love it. So there's all these are brand new stencils that you can use. They're all new for this year. Carmen Mendelin, I, I probably am butchering that. I'm so sorry, Carmen. <laughs> but just look at this, look at the flamingos. Isn't that so adorable? And you can do stenciling on, you know, obviously everybody thinks mixed media and mini books and you know, and, and stuff like that. But look, you can just also do a simple wooden frame, stick a cute, and then stick your stencil on the side of that. Look how adorable that is. Idea. And pairing it with all the amazing mediums, the modeling pastes. Love look mediums. at this is one of the, the copper penny modeling based copper penny. copper penny can you look at that and then there's also there's all these amazing colors Grecian gold just look <laughs> look at that yumminess I believe that is what was used for the mermaid for the mermaid oh. was the Grecian mm -hmm. gold isn't that gorgeous so and then I mean we also have them in smaller sizes for the portability, because if you're not gonna be using them right away, for instance, let's see, you only able to go to them once a month, you don't wanna get a large jar because it will dry out on you over time. Now, if you're like me and you just go through it like crazy, large jar is awesome. But if this is something that the smaller jar, the more air that gets in it, the faster it will start kind of not working as well for you. So the small jars are fantastic for that. And then you can get more of them. You can try like all one of no, all you colors. You can get all, the whole collection. You can get the whole collection and, and then get, get little mini jars. And your favorites in the big jar. Exactly, exactly. One of my other fun ones that I love is the Shimmery Goodness. Shimmery this stuff is so cool. Let me open up a jar. I believe I have one over here. Because I want to show you. All right, so this is the Shimmery Goodness. I mean, just look how beautiful it is. It's a pearlescent medium that you can add just about anything to. And that's what I love about it. We've got so many different colors of heavy bodied acrylic paint. I mean, just look at them all. And you can mix and match these. You can add this to this to tint it to make it a color which is phenomenal. Ooh. So you can take the, the clear color, not clear, but the white mediums, the clear mediums, and then add the layers of paint to them to create so many different colors and so many different varieties. But I also love just doing these. Layers, so, textures, oh, words and textures. that we love. All right, so we're just gonna play with this one here for a second. Grab my little palette knife. And it is just so pretty. Can't wait. Slap it on. I just love how messy we can get. Oh, media. I know. about that. I mean, just look, it's, it's going on so easily. So it's just a shimmer. You can see it kind of like pearlescent and just getting in there and all those little nooks and crannies. It is so cool. So, so cool. And then when you're done stenciling, you really do want to make sure that you kind of pick up all the edges. And I just kind of plop it back into the jar. I wipe it clean and then whoosh. Now, I did a very fast version of that. And yeah, I, yeah. I did, but you know what? Sometimes I like it when it's a little bit mucky and messy because it just gives it some more character. It gives it more character. I love that. And if this little thing bothers you, it's gone. Oh, it doesn't dry right away. So it doesn't, no. It's got a little bit of a, a forgiveness, and, it's, and then I'll let that go. I might plop another one over here. Now, if I was gonna do layers and go across, I would be very careful not to put this here right now. Right. But you can always come in. If this was on, you can always go in and dry it if you're impatient or you can let it air dry. It really depends on you. I personally love going in and drying it and getting it to bubble and crisp and to blister and get more texture and just yummy goodness. It's awesome.
it's really cool news new stencils are called the perfect stencil and what's so perfect about it is because they're perfect to fit over top of a card as you can see they're a little bit of a different shape they're not the six by six they're of a five and a half or five and a quarter by seven and a quarter so it allows you to go in with a two size cards or so even you, a larger card to so give you texture card makers don't get that edge there that exactly stencils leave. right so because oh, okay. with a six by six with a card like this you'd have a top at the bottom and a top at the you know on either side or you would shift it down and you have an edge and you're kind of like well that doesn't have help me yes. you, you want to go all over so this allows you to do that and you can turn it both directions so here's a horizontal card and just look at that look texture at that. look at that texture isn't that awesome oh wow not that so cool waffly yeah it's very very pretty so they've added a medium over top and then they've just added all the colors and layers over top of that. <laughs> and of course you, you don't have to just use these on cards you oh no no no, no. exactly they're very portable for art journaling. exactly i mean there's so many things so over here we have um art by marlene stencils i mean just look at the amazing so again we're going back into the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 size stencils and some of the stencils, the graphics are for the entire thing. It's like, it's a whole scene, but then you can go into like, for instance, Gabriel Polacco stencils where she's got pieces you can use. So you've got a column, you've got a bouquet, you've got, or a bouquet with, you can kind of see, well, you can see it better here. You go uh, like a pot with a bouquet and then, or I think it's like a, what do, what do you think it is? It looks like a pear tree. <laughs> and then we have a smaller column or like we were playing with the fleur de lis earlier. So, I mean, it's so, or the Baroque fleurs, that's what she's calling it. So, and look, she's layered all kinds of fun layers on top and top and top, just layers and layers and layers and layers. Isn't that gorgeous? So down to just bricks. These are new for the winter 2018. These are absolutely, I mean, they're all new, but this is more of your, like the hearts, the bricks. Look at the dots. Yeah, so cool. Look at the big damask. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, think about stenciling that like onto a mirror and then putting it as like your centerpiece decor and with like some of the golden mediums that we have. So beautiful. And then there's also words. We have those are very trendy. So super trendy. And then sticking them on top of wood, adding the mediums to the wood. You've got all these different things. You can just use one word or you can do the entire stencil. And that's what's so amazing about it. Look at these signs. Aren't they cool? I mean, wood crates, things put on wood is so trendy right now. And then you can paint it first with the paints and then add the mediums and get cool texture and then layer the stencil on top of that with whatever color you love. I mean, I love those colors. I'm a blue girl though. That's why that blue. And then look at the little bitty one, like oh, you. Oh, wouldn't this be cute? Perfect for your kitchen. Perfect, perfect for your kitchen. Also perfect in the office where the coffee machine is. Exactly, and so here they are. Here is the <laughs> six by six, but then you can do a giant one if you'd like for like the office so people really know. Yes. You know, and then there's your big one in your 12 by 12. Yeah. Yeah, so it's pretty darn awesome. Awesome, awesome. And you said it. I could put this on a mirror. A medium will stick to the mirror. A mirror, and it's just gonna go. No, I mean it's a medium. It's gonna stick. It's like think about gesso. Gesso is gonna want to stick to anything, and so all different types of mediums are gonna want to stick to something. And so a mirror is just another version of something for it to stick to. Thank it's pretty you awesome. so much, Erin. You're absolutely welcome. Thanks so much for checking out Crafters Workshop. Appreciate it. Bye bye.